Hello everyone, and welcome to this new tutorial for Maverick Render. Today we will see how to import 3D models into Maverick. Importing an OBJ file in Maverick Studio is really easy. It can be done from the start screen by using the Import and Merge button, by clicking the Import button that resembles a puzzle piece from the main toolbar, or by going to the File menu and selecting the Import or Merge entry. It is also possible to simply drag and drop a file from the Windows Explorer directly onto Maverick Studio. In the very first part of the dialog, you can decide whether you want to import as a new scene, or merge into the current one. You can also pick an ambience which will be used for lighting and shadows. Select one of the presets, and click Next. If required, you can change the model orientation using the flip vertical axis toggle. In this case the orientation was detected properly. The OBJ format does not carry scale or units information. It is often needed to manually adjust the scene scale before import. As a physically based render engine, Maverick works best with real world scale to produce predictable camera effects such as depth of field or physically accurate lighting intensities. To this end, Always take a look at the information provided in the bounding box area just to make sure everything is to scale. We will cover the process of manually adjusting the scale in the second part of this video. This time, the model has a proper scale, so simply click next to continue with the import process. This page shows special options that will be covered later in this video. So, click on the proceed button. The model is now rendering with proper scale and orientation. Now let's take a look at a model that comes with all its parts attached and a wrong scale. Once again select an ambience and click next. The dimensions do not look right. The model should be about 10 cm tall. If none of the available scale presets is a match, select the custom option. If you don't know the original model scale, using either centimeters or inches and playing with the multiplier usually covers most situations. In our case it looks like the object was modeled in inches, and no multiplier change is needed. Click Next. On this step, simply proceed for the moment to see what gets imported. The model has been imported properly, but many parts are attached together, making it more difficult to assign materials. This can be fixed by importing again and using the special detaching options. The importer recalls your previous choices, so simply click next. Here select the detach by part and material option. This will create as many objects as there are materials, but also detach parts that are isolated into separate objects. The grouping options tell the importer what to do with objects that were detached into multiple parts. You can decide to not group anything or group the detached parts by the original objects the parts belong to, or by objects using the same material. In our case, grouping by same object will be ideal, as the OBJ did not have any material. You can recalculate normals in case the model smoothing was wrong after importing, which is not the case here. Our previous import showed that the model did not carry any material, so we leave the Apply Unique Random Colors option enabled to better see the different parts. Click Proceed. The model has now imported, and you can see groups have been created from the detaching process and everything is properly ordered. Every piece of isolated geometry is now detached giving a much easier access to submaterials. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.